Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Here today, we're going to take a up-close look, kind of like a quality control check, on a Academy Sports brand Monarch 223 Remington. It's a steel case, a 55 grain, full metal jacket. And then here's the ballist ballistics right here. And I do believe this exact same ammunition is brown bear also, as it looks exactly the same, has the same markings on the case. I believe it's just been repackaged for Academy under the name Monarch. Alright, let's take a good look here at some cases here. You can just kind of see the lacquer coating kind of varies from bullet to bullet there. Uh, from my particular experience, like the lacquer coating, I've had uh, some issues in Colt ARs and uh, Caltech PLR-16. Just the lacquer coating overall and stuff doesn't seem to be like the very best. And here you go. Kind of a good look at it there. And as you can see, there's the... Alright, now... Let's uh, kind of get into it here. Let's go ahead and pull a bullet. Let's weigh the powder, take a look at everything, and see what's going on here with Monarch. I'm kind of moving around here. Go ahead and turn the scale on. It's already on grains. Put the little thing on there. Tore it out. Now this scale is made for powder and stuff like that. It's sold at a gun store and it has been fully calibrated now here we go I have the bullet here and let's go ahead and weigh the powder now I probably did lose about two grains or so so right now it's weighing in at uh, about 18.4 um, so it's a relatively, I'd say about 18.7, maybe, uh, I'd say with a little bit of loss, let's go ahead and just call it 20 grains, which, I mean, is quite a bit. It's, uh, really looks just like Tula Ammo's powder, kind of like the same amount as well. It's just like a stick powder, and I'm wondering if it's because they use the stick powder, in fact, is why they have to use so much of it. This seems to be like a lot more powder than I've seen in uh, brass-cased ammunition. So there's a good look at it there. Well, let's put it back on. Let's weigh it with the bullet. So with the bullet, it's weighing 73.2. So it's about 75.2 overall. It ain't too bad here. Let's go ahead and take the bullet out. Now, I know a lot of people say this Monarch is indeed uh, steel core ammunition. However, just kind of glancing at it here, you can kind of see a really thick bi-metal jacket on there. And then, but it really looks like a lead core there. It doesn't really have like the best appearance, kind of bad quality control. I've noticed that right there at the end. I'm not really sure why it kind of looks like it's been dug into a little bit. But that really that looks kind of like a little thick bimetal jacket, and it that's that's a lead core. I don't know if maybe halfway through the bullet there's a steel core in it or something, but for just looking at it like this, it's a bimetal jacket with a lead core. It's just like Tula ammo. But a lot of people say this is in fact steel core ammunition, so it might be. So there's kind of a look there. Now let's kind of weigh the bullet by itself, tore everything out, and the bullet by itself weighs 54.6 grains, which is just slightly under the 55 grains that it's supposed to be. Overall, uh, the bullets, uh, well, that you would see out of the case there is nice. And then when you pull it, you know, you can 
It looks relatively nice. The end there, it's uh, looks like I had something kind of dig into it or something. Now let's take a look here at the inside of the case, if we can. Can't really see in it that good. It's really dark. But there's the case there from being pulled. Um, it doesn't look like they use a sealant or anything like that in there. Um, two, two, three rim. They just, you know, just looks like an average like steel case. Kind of really reminds me of a Tula ammo when you take that apart. So there's kind of uh, an in-depth look at the Monarch two, two, three Remington ammunition. And uh, there it is. You know, if you like uh, these type of videos where we take a good look at everything, you know, please comment which round you would like me to do or anything like that. And, you know, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.